A lot has changed since our last video, specifically around how much it costs to take advantage of Tesla's premier product, full self-driving. Changes on that, new features, and when should you buy your new Tesla? Let's get into all of that in today's video. 1.5 million new Tesla drivers driving Tesla's full self-driving are now on the road, leaving the biggest question unanswered, is it worth buying at $200 or $12,000 Tesla's full self-driving. Well, many of us have seen a trial, but now big changes that'll affect your purchase. Breaking news, Tesla just changed the subscription for full self-driving down from $199 a month to its new price of only $99. So the interesting thing is Tesla to this point hasn't changed the overall one-time purchase of full self-driving. It is still $12,000. So it would take many, many years at $99 a month to outright pay for full self-driving, opening the door to many new customers potentially thinking about making a subscription to full self-driving. Tesla Scope has reported that new rollouts of FSD have began with different versions of their software now rolling out to even more drivers than the initial 1.5 million. Did you know this? You could easily miss this. Enhanced Autopilot seems to have disappeared as a subscription or purchase on the Tesla app. A once featured enhanced autopilot gave you more features than the basic autopilot, like the lane changes and observing stop signs and such. But now that has disappeared in replacement of the $99 FSD. Tesla is going all in on full self-driving. Did you know that now it costs you less referral points? If you're a Tesla owner, if you use a referral link, you get points for purchases made through your link. Well, now that full self-driving three month subscription now costs you 6,000 points down from the previous 10,000. Brand new seats in the Model 3 Plaid that are going to mimic the new Model 3 Ludicrous. You have to check out these seats, they're insane. So stick around for that in one minute. So many changes, I can barely keep up. Did you know that Tesla recently announced free full self-driving transfers? So if you did purchase the full self-driving package, you could for free transfer it to a new Tesla. Well, that lasted for maybe a few weeks. Because recently, Tesla Tesla just removed the free transfer. So once you could transfer for free, now you cannot. I have not seen anywhere if there is a fee associated now in replacement of this program, but it seems like now you simply don't have the option to transfer full self-driving. So very interesting choice on Tesla to provide more trials of FSD, change the price of the monthly subscription, but take away your ability to transfer for free. The Model S Plaid got some insane seats. Check these new performance bucket seats with a black exterior trim and the known Plaid logo embedded into the seat itself. We saw a video, a new marketing commercial came out on Tesla's page highlighting these new performance seats. Model 3 buyers, I wanted to bring this up because it's already confirmed that your Model 3 Ludacris set to come out any day now is going to have very similar seats. We've even seen leaked pictures of what supposedly is the new Model 3 Ludacris white bucket seats. Model Y buyers, we have something for you as well. If you're in between the Model 3 or the Model Y, if you intend on bringing your family with you on road trips or you need a little more space, now the Model Y seven seater option, pricing has been discounted $500 while still $2,000 at this time for a seven-seater Model Y. Keep in mind that last year at this time for that seven-seater option, the price was double at 4,000. New features coming to Tesla's in 2024, confirmed 100%. And if you're waiting, I wanna tell you why you should wait and some mistakes you may want to avoid. Let's break this down. When do you buy your Tesla? If you're buying right now, your new rate for financing is 6.39% and went down a 10th of a percent. Not much, but it's going to help some. 
If you wait, some things you could get are new colors. It has been hinted we've seen a Model Y at the Austin Gigafactory painted in the European Quicksilver color. Other countries like Israel, Australia have seen Quicksilver and Cherry Red added to their paint options. A mistake you want to avoid is waiting for a Model Y later in this year thinking you're going to get a refresh because that is not going to happen. So don't make the mistake of waiting, thinking that there's going to be any refresh. Tesla has already confirmed themselves a Model Y refresh is not going to happen in 2024. A mistake to avoid, don't wait if you think you're going to get even lower prices specifically for the Model Y. Currently, all Model Ys qualify for the EV tax credit. And if you look at historic prices, even with the $1,000 price increase, did you know that happened April 1st, you now get that EV tax credit and historically, prices for the Model Y have never been better. So I only see prices going up for the Model Y. So don't think that by waiting, you're going to save thousands. One mistake to avoid is not looking at the inventory for the Model 3 or the Model Y. Currently, we're seeing price discounts around $5,000 or more. Also, Tesla added a new feature where you can toggle which vehicles qualify for that EV tax credit in the inventory vehicles. Let's talk about that for a minute because if you are a Tesla customer in 2024, I wanna tell you why you should buy now and not wait and what new features you're going to get by taking advantage of pricing and features right now. All you have to do is click on the link and use anyone's referral link, mine or someone else's, a current Tesla owner, and you'll get three months of free full self-driving. If you're buying right now, let's not forget you're going to get all the new features of the refreshed codenamed Highland Model 3. So you're going to get ventilated seats, that new dash that has that recycled woven fabric. You're going to get new design features on the exterior and new steering wheel designs as well. Again, the removal of the stocks just happened this year, to name a few of the new features on that Model 3. And Model Y buyers in 2024, you're gonna be some of the first to take advantage of the fully qualified EV tax credit, and you're going to join the likes of the number one selling car in the world, gas or EV, in the Model Y. So if you are buying, there's no reason to wait on the Model Y, there's no refresh, and it fully qualifies. A mistake I want you to avoid is thinking that you're going to lease a Tesla because that is one way to get the EV tax credit, but then also thinking that you're gonna own that Tesla after that lease is up. If you want a Model 3, a tip is to lease it. That will qualify it for the EV tax credit. That's the only way 2024 Model 3s currently qualify, but Tesla doesn't offer a buyout option. So don't make that mistake of buying a new Model 3 with the EV task credit thinking that you're going to own it afterwards because unfortunately Tesla doesn't allow you to buy it afterwards. I haven't talked about this in a long, long, long time. A mistake I want everybody to avoid is not having the proper accessories when you buy your Tesla. If you're buying a Model 3, all new accessories are going to now be available because now you have the Model 3 Highland. Model Y, all those accessories are going to be the same from year to year, current or previous. I took delivery of my Model 3 rear wheel drive and it was raining that day. And the last thing you wanna do is carry a boot full of mud into your brand new Model 3 or Model Y. And these do not come with floor mats or your kiddo, my car seat's right there, chucks a juice bottle or what have you and hits the screen. So protect your screen, protect your carpets with the best accessories. I ordered them by popularity as chosen by you, other Tesla owners. They're down in the video description. It does support the channel, which helps me continue making these videos. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you click those links down below and buy your accessories there. Full self-driving is now $99 a month. There is no more free full self-driving transfers 
Model Y features like the seven seat option, fall in price and many, many more changes. So when are you gonna buy? Currently this year or are you going to wait? Drop a like if you're out there watching. That's the only way I know you like these videos and subscribe. Again, my name is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. So make sure to like, subscribe and share. We'll see you in the next video.